Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video I wanted to talk to you about a hitting drill series for youth baseball players. This is just a series of drills that you can incorporate the next time you're at practice, the next time you're hitting in your basement or your garage. And I find that a lot of players, you know, you hear about thousands and thousands of drills, but a lot of players don't really know how to put them together. So I figured that I would make some sort of a drill series, a workout routine that you can follow when you have an extra 30 minutes, 45 minutes to hit. So all of these can be done using just the regular batting tee. I tried to keep it very, very simple. And these are drills you can do by yourself. I know when I was younger, my parents both worked all the time, you know, full time. And so uh, outside of practice in the summer months or whatever, if I wanted to get better, a lot of the time it was just me. And so I had to find some things that I could do on my own. So this is something that you can do with just some baseballs and a tee. So that's the first drill that we're gonna do is tee work. Now, a lot of kids, youth players, just kind of step up to the tee and they just automatically start hacking and they have no concern for where the actual ball, where the tee is located in relation to the strike zone and in relation to the plate. So you'll notice where I'm addressing the plate, okay, this is my normal, pretty much my normal spot I would hit in the box, right? And I'm working on, I've set the, the tee up in a way where I'm working on hitting the outside pitch. So that's pretty much on the black on the outside corner of the plate. And that's where I'm going to start and I'm going to work on low, uh, medium, belt high pitch and then a high pitch at the top of the strike zone and I'm going to work on the away pitch first and I'm going to work on keeping my hands inside the baseball and hitting that ball, pretty much shooting it to right center, right over the second baseman's head. So that's the first area of the strike zone we want to work with, away, boom, to right center for a right handed hitter. Then we're going to move the tee up and uh, in the middle of the plate a little bit more, okay? And away pitch, we want to let travel a little bit more. We're going to hit it a little deeper in our stance. Now the, in, or the, the pitch right over the middle of the plate, we're going to hit it a little bit further out in front, just like that. So this, again, I'm going to work low, belt high, and top of the strike zone. I'm going to try and hit every single pitch right back up the middle. Hard ground balls and low line drives. We want to avoid pop-ups. We want to avoid you know, getting around the baseball and hitting it to the left side. That's not what we're working on right now. We're working on staying in the middle of the field. So directly over the pitcher's head, stay into the middle of the field. And then finally, we're going to move it up and in just a little bit more. Now this is simulating that inside part of the strike zone on the black on the inside corner, okay? So again, we're going to hit the ball a little bit further out in front, and we're going to focus on driving the ball left center to maybe left field line, okay? Again, hard ground balls and low line drives. So that's the proper way to do T work. You want to cover every single area of the strike zone and you don't just want to leave it the same height every time. That's about belt high. I don't just want to hit belt high right over the middle of the plate. I want to work up, down, middle, in, away, okay? So make sure every single area of the strike zone is covered. Show equal love to every single area. That's going to make you a much better hitter. Now the next drill I like to do in this series, you can use your regular bat or I'd prefer if you got a lighter bat or a shorter bat. But we're going to do bottom hand and top hand swings, okay? So I don't have a shorter bat with me, so I'm just going to choke up on this one. You can even turn your bat over like this to kind of deload it a little bit. But all we're going to do is we're going to work on isolating our top and our bottom hand. Sometimes players, youth players in particular, uh, our swing kind of gets taken over by one particular hand. So if our top hand really likes to roll over, then that's when we're gonna beat the ball into the ground to the shortstop and we're gonna literally roll over the pitch, right? That's our top hand kind of, you know, rolling over like this and taking too much control. Um, and vice versa, you know, if our top hand is a little bit lazy and our bottom hand likes to, you know, rip the, the barrel through the zone, then a lot of the times our barrel's gonna be dragging like this and we're gonna hit lazy pop-ups and fly balls. So isolating your top and your bottom hand is really going to help you um, just with your, you know, your, your rhythm, your timing, and you're going to learn to utilize both hands effectively. Okay, so I promise you, you do, you know, 20 swings with your bottom hand, and then 20 swings with your top hand, and then you do 20 swings with both hands on the bat. You're going to feel a major increase in just your consistency and your ability to square the baseball up. The next drill I like to do, you're going to need some sort of a cone or if you don't have a cone, you can use a glove, just some sort of an object. And this is the don't squish the bug drill, okay? So we're gonna place it by where our back foot is going to be. Now you hear a lot of coaches will preach, and you look at my back foot here, they'll preach, you know, squish the bug, and that's what you wanna do when you hit. That's not really true. What you want is you want your back knee 
kind of driving forward and you want your knees pushing together. You want to hit against the firm front side and you literally want your, uh, you know, your shoelaces to kind of rotate towards the ground and this back knee to drive forward like this. So this is the don't squish the bug drill. I'm going to put my foot right here next to that cone and I'm going to take a regular swing and if I squish the bug, if I get too rotational with this back side, then I'm going to hit the cone or knock it over, okay? But vice versa, if I do this drill properly, what's going to happen, my back foot's right on there, what's going to happen when I take my swing is I'm barely even going to touch it. It's not going to move hardly at all because my back knee is driving forward. So that's great. This is going to get your young hitters into a great hitting position. I really like the don't squish the bug drill. The last drill, you don't necessarily need a tee at all. All you're going to need is a tennis ball, preferably. I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a baseball here. But what we're going to work on is separation. So separation from our, our lower half and our upper half. You know, a lot of players, when they're in the box, um, you know, first of all, separation is never really taught. But a lot of players, they're right here when they get in their initial setup. And to, to generate any sort of, you know, rotational torque, all they do is instead of allowing their hands to walk away from their body when they make that aggressive move towards the pitcher, this is a good position to be in. Instead of doing that, all they do is they keep their hands in the same spot and they just rotate in like this. My hands aren't moving, they're just rotating in and then kind of uncoiling. And you'll notice when they do that, your hands are in the exact same spot. What this drill is gonna do, I'm gonna put the baseball underneath my front, uh, my front elbow here and it's helpful to have a tennis ball because it's a little bit squishier and easier but you're gonna get into your setup like this and all you're gonna do is your, your goal is to you know go into your load stride towards the pitcher and as you stride towards the pitcher your hands are gonna walk away from your body and when your hands walk away from your body this ball is obviously gonna drop out right because if my front elbow if I allow my this front arm to go from flexed to a little bit more straightened out, then the ball's not gonna stay there, it's gonna fall. But if I keep my hands here and I just do kind of this internal rotation movement and I don't get that good separation, then the ball's still gonna be there. So the goal with this drill is to actually have the ball fall out. So again, much easier to do with the tennis ball. I'll try it with a baseball, see if I can get it to work here. Boom, just like that much easier with the tennis ball. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little hitting drill series. There's plenty of different tee drills you can do. This is really just the tip of the iceberg, uh, but I think it's a good starting point for young baseball players out there. Show equal love to each area of the strike zone, get to the field, actually work on this kind of stuff, and it's only gonna serve to make you a better hitter. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you'll never miss another one. And if you want a free bat speed workout that's gonna help you improve your bat speed, five. 10 heck even 15 miles an hour all you have to do is click on this image right here that'll take you to my website all I need is your email address and I'll immediately send you that free bat speed workout so if you're on your phone your mobile device that's not gonna work no big deal just click on the very first link in the description below this video and go grab your free bat speed workout that's all for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time